in this video we are going to create our upgrades or that we are at least going to create the script that will make our upgrades and uh, we're not going to use it in this video we'll simply write the code and then in the next video we will apply to our game so that we can um, click the upgrade button uh, when we place a tile we should be able to click it here and click this upgrade button and when we mouse over this we will also we should also be able to see a tooltip that shows what upgrade we are getting uh, right now my buttons down here are a little squeezed down and we will also fix that in the uh, video where we actually apply our update upgrades so we are just going to make one simple um, upgrade script and in that script we will add the uh, create the upgrades for every single tower we could create a uh, script for each tower but i don't think we need that so let's just try to stop the game and create a new c sharp script called tower upgrades and I am putting my tower upgrades, um, not with S actually, that's back code, uh, back naming practice. So let's just right click and call it tower upgrade. There we go. Okay, so tower upgrade, well, it's going to contain all the information for upgrading a tower. So let's just open it up. And we place Visual Studio here so that we can see what's going on there. So first of all, we don't need it to inherit from Mono Behavior, so just delete that part. And remember that it is called Tower Upgrade, not with an S. So if you named it out here with Tower Upgrade, not with without an S, you also need to name it without an S here. So the first thing we're going to do is to add the price. This is how much the upgrade is going to cost us, right? And it's going to be a private set. So if you want to write these very fast without just typing everything, you can write PROP and then tap two times. The next one we're going to add is a damage buff. And so it's going to be private. And then we're going to make a uh, float and this is the debuff duration so we can increase the duration time of the debuff also going to be private and then we're going to add a proc chance and proc chance is a float not we proc chance just proc chance and it's also going to be private set so the reason that we make these private set is because we don't want to be able to uh, change the actual um, value from the outside. We just want to be able to set it here when we uh, instantiate our our object. Then there is something specific for the um, first tower. It's the slowing factor. So this indicates that we could create another script, but basically there is so little diversity between the different upgrades that it would be unnecessary to make a tower upgrade fire tower upgrade uh, uh, frost and so on that's why i just keep this so we're just going to put this at zero if we don't need a slowing factor to improve and it's also private set and then we have a tick time And then we have a spell special damage. That's for the poison tower. Okay, so now we have all the fields we need to be able to create our tower, uh, our upgrade. So start an update. We can delete them, and then we need to create a bunch of different constructors, three different constructors, constructors for that matter. Because some needs to be instantiated without proc chance, some needs to have a proc chance and so on. Or not proc chance, slowing factor and so on. So, public tower upgrade. We need a price. We need damage. We need debuff. We need proc chance. We need a slowing factor
if I could hit the right key. There we go. And it should be a float, of course. Wow. There we go. Yeah. And then our scope. And then in here, we have to say this the damage equals damage. This the debuff duration equals debuff duration. This dot proc chance equals proc chance and this dot slowing factor equals slowing factor. And this dot price equals price. Oh wait. Did I misspell price or not? Pretty Kate, yeah. Nice. There we go. Okay. So the next is basically going to be the same. So we can copy this one. Paste it down here. We have damage, debuff duration, proc chance, and then we have tick time instead. Equals. We need to create this tick time here with non capital T. It should give an error. And then we have the price. And we also have this dot special damage equals. It's going to correct me again. So now we, we don't have take time and special damage. Make sure you write this with non-capital. And let's see, we have slowing factor. Let's call this one uh, take time. And then we have special damage. Go and then we have to create the last one, and that is actually the simplest one. So I think I'm going to take this last one and place it in the top. So I want the simplest one first. I just skipped it by mistake apparently. So the simplest one needs to have price, damage, debuff duration, and proc chance. And that's it. So we can just delete these and delete these two there we go this is the simplest one so why do we have three constructors well we need to be able to create a tower upgrade for a tower that only has damage debuff duration proc chance and price we need to be able to create a upgrade for something with a flowing factor and we need to be able to upgrade something with a special damage or like and and a tick time okay so with that in place we can create our upgrades in the code we're not going to use them yet but we can create them and we can do that by for example going to the fire tower and I actually think I'm adding yeah I have something called upgrades inside tower here so we need to create the upgrades in here um, as an array and then we can add the upgrades there so let's go to the top see where I want to write this Zoom pretty much in there why do we want to do this? Well, yeah, we can. Doesn't really matter, does it? Nope. So I'm going to make a pop property. And it's going to be a tower upgrade array. And it's going to be called upgrades. And, well, we don't want it to be private set because we need to set it from the fire tower, frost tower, and so on. So I can make a protected protected set so when something is protected it's available from everything that inherits from this class and the fire tower inherits from tower so I can go in here and I can go to my um, start function and I can say upgrades equals new tower upgrades see I can access upgrades here because in my tower this one is protected if it's not protected it's private like so well then I'm not going to access it here. You can see it gets a red squishy line here. That's exactly why we, oh, oops, we white protected. Um, yeah, so we instantiate this. And then we add some upgrades. New tower upgrade. So the array is going to have two upgrades in it that we can use to upgrade our tower. The first one needs to price, so it costs you to um, upgrade it. It's going to have to increase damage by two. 
deep of duration is going to be half a second longer. Um, the proc chance is going to be five. And what else? Slowing factor no. What else do we have? We have one with tick time. Let's use that. So the tick time is going to be 0 0.1 second less. And the damage is going to be one more. Okay. Um, I think I need an F here. So that's the first upgrade, right? So we just increased damage and everything on it. So first time we upgrade it, we will get these stats increased on our stats. Next thing, we need five damage boost. We need a, da uh, sorry, five, it costs five. The damage uh, increase is going to be three. And 0 0.5 more increase here. Five more increase, 0 0.1 more increase, and one more increase. So this is the first upgrade. Or this both upgrades. Okay, so that's the fire tower. Let's try to open up some other towers here. Frost tower. So in start, we can go to our frost tower, and in here we can create some upgrades as well. So upgrades equals new tower upgrades. And we're going to have a new tower upgrade. On position zero, it's going to have two prize, one damage increase, one debuff duration increase, proc chance increased by two, and the slowing factor is 10, increased by 10. Um, and they increase by 20 here. You can put these values exactly as you want. This is just what I put. I haven't fine-tuned the game or anything, so you can just do whatever numbers you want and test it. Okay. Um, so we need to do it for the poison tower. In the poison tower, we have some new upgrades. New tower upgrade. Two, one, uh, point five, uh, minus zero point one, one. And I'm just going to copy paste this, and it's going to cost five, and zero point five, zero point one, one. Yeah, I'm happy with these numbers, and then semicolon here. And the last one is the storm tower. And what are the numbers here? Let's see. Upgrades equals new tower upgrade. New tower upgrade. So two, two, one, two. And five, three, one, two. And that's it. That's all the upgrades created. So now we have created the code for using upgrades, or not using them, but creating them. And in the next video, we will make sure that our tooltip updates accordingly to these upgrades here. So you can see what the next upgrade will give you. Thanks for watching my video, please remember that Inscope Studios is a community founded page, so please consider clicking the support link on the screen to see how you can support me and get something back in return.